Hi, thanks for joining the video today. Today we're going to Arizona Mills Mall where a new Tesla supercharger is being built and we're gonna go check on the status of the construction. And today we're gonna try out FSD Beta 10.12.2, so let's go. Something wasn't working well, but on the second try it seemed like everything was clear to go. If you hadn't noticed my upper left corner label, you'll soon see it wasn't a success. It always makes me laugh when the car decides to wash the windshield on its own. Though I had actually just washed it prior to starting filming, so I'm not sure if a glare caught it or why it felt like it needed to be cleaned again. Something clearly wasn't functioning properly, so I decided to call it a day and try again tomorrow. Okay, we're gonna try this one more time. Let's speed up through some of the straight driving. FSD successfully recognized the person on the bike here and stayed wide on the lane to give them space. It slowed down a little on the approach, but overall this maneuver was good. We are approaching a roundabout. FSD was able to avoid this roundabout, but it took the turn a little too wide and got into the left turn lane. Its approach to the turn seemed a bit aggressive in the moment and seemed like it was going to keep going forward, so I disengaged. Looking at the screen here, it did have its left blinker on and the path is pointed down the road, so it may have been able to make this turn. Navigation rerouted us. Let's try again. Did Tesla just yield to a bird? There are some ominous road closure signs up ahead. Navigation didn't plan for these closed roads. It's surprising this is still an issue. I disengaged here. I'm driving the car to turn back around. And let's not drive into this sign. Taking over here to align myself back on a non-closed road. Making a nice right turn here. If you saw my previous FSD video on rural worlds, you'll remember that I had complained about the car going too fast over speed bumps. On these more shallow speed bumps, it recognizes them and slows down adequately. This left turn was done very well. It seemed very natural and waited for traffic to pass.
Up ahead, there was a person crossing the road and Tesla preemptively slowed down a little bit until he got out of the lane. This is much better than its old behavior around people. All right, this is technically our destination, so I'll be taking back over while we look for those chargers under construction. Okay, so let's park. This charging site is going to have 12 version three chargers. And there in the middle, you can see the charging posts and that hole that's there is either going to be where the transformer or cabinets are going to be located, but I'm not sure as there's also another wooden structure over there on the end that might include either of those two as well. Lately, I've been seeing a lot of expansion and additions in the state of Arizona, so I'm happy that they're expanding more on the East Valley. Okay, now that we saw our construction site, let's go back in and try FSD one more time. I wasn't too happy about that first route, so let's go. This is an issue I've seen come up in previous versions. When the car makes a right or left turn, it'll stick to the closest lane, which is legal I suppose. But then it struggles to immediately get over to the wider lane because of the bike lane in between it. I was about to disengage but it corrected itself, so it's still engaged here. Next we see Tesla has its right blinker on because it can legally only go right in this lane, but it doesn't want to do this right on red. After proceeding to the intersection, it appears that it wants to go straight to stay on course, but the path planner goes crazy and I disengaged. Let's report that. Wide left turns have been a problem in the past. Sometimes a car would try and veer into the closer lane, but this went well. Smooth right turn at this intersection. Tesla waited until the last minute to get over to the left lane, but was able to successfully make the turn. Again, left turns on intersections have been greatly improved in this version. This was a perfectly normal right turn.
and here we are at our destination. I don't know why I'm flailing my hands here. <laughs> Well, that's the end of our drive. I feel like with this update left, terms are definitely better, but a lot more work still needs to be done. Thanks for spending time with me today. Have any VR you can review? Email me at info at kaizv.com. Make sure to subscribe for more V content and follow me on social media at kaizv and kaizessa. Kai's my doc. And check out my website for more V resources at kaizv.com. That's all for now and happy charging.